Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are playing through the brand new Hyrudagon and Tapion uh, Dokkan event. We're going to be playing through all the stages, so I haven't even played this at all yet, so this will kind of be a first time reaction for me as well, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, we're going to be using the Super Vegito team, so the um, Boo Arc category team, so that'll be pretty neat as well excuse me um, i don't think i've shown them off on the channel yet is this guy uh okay whoa yeah i will certainly take that all right so this is the team we're going to be running today obviously this team should be able to take down this event pretty easily um especially this stage obviously now this stage two is the stage where you get the um farmable physical tapion um from this not from the story i will be playing through the story on another video i don't know when that'll come out but either way i'll be playing through that at some point i'll play through the entire story i mean i'll get all the drops see what's up there um, but i kind of wanted to just show this off because from what i've heard and what I've seen videos of, apparently Harutagon, obviously on the, well, now 25 stamina, but, you know, basically the super hard mission dodges more than Janemba. And Janemba dodged a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to die before the end of this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, so this is the Tapion that's farmable right here, the one that we're farming. Um, farming, fighting, excuse me. But yeah, so basically, um, that Hyrudagon at the end of this, like, thing, obviously, you know, the super difficulty, apparently dodges more than Janemba. So we'll have to test that out for ourselves. Also, I'm hearing, like, sound mic crinkling in my headset, so if you can hear that, I apologize about that. I can hear it on my end, but oh no, it's still on one times! No! <laughs> so, you guys will see this later, um, but... I did some summons for Ablot since he's off at boot camp right now. I got him. Uh, I got him the uh, the blue stone pack as kind of a Christmas present for him. Yes, skip. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I said skip, but there we go. Now we're back at two times. Um, I so you know I had to transfer the account onto my phone. By the way, there's the tape on. Um, I had to transfer his account onto my phone and you know take mine off and then put mine back on. So you know it always whenever you transfer your account, it always has like certain things that it kind of like resets because it's like oh you're new to playing the game. <laughs> Level 300 over here would say not. <laughs> but anyhow, um. We just beat that, so we should get the physical tapion once this loads, um, and then we'll move on to the, um, of course, super hard difficulty. I don't know if I'll do the Z hard, maybe? We'll see. But anyway, there's the tapion. There we go. Looks pretty cool. It's him playing the flute. Lock that boy up. There we go. Are you gonna, are you gonna lock? There we go. Awesome. Alright, so we did that. Yes, please. Friend this Super Vegito. I need more Super Vegito friends. For sure. Um, there's not too many people... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I am tripping over my words here. Not too many people running him as a lead, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so obviously now the Z-Hard um, missions drop more than three medals. They can drop anywhere from, I believe, three to six, I believe is the ratio. Um, but nonetheless... Oh my gosh. Rainbow Star Herc. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to be playing the... Um, the 50 stamina one i keep saying 50 it's 25 now um that stamina one only because it's obviously the same thing it's just the z hard one um you know has one less boss to face so anyhow we're gonna hop into it here i'm very excited to try this um i'm hoping that all of our countering will kind of help this animation Ooh, that was dope that was awesome. So, Hyrudagon, too, um, his animation when Tapion transforms into him, like, in the actual AGL card, is super dope. I gotta say, it looks fantastic. Alright, um, let's see here. Where are we gonna go? We'll just go this way, because this seems like the decent path. Bada bing, bada boom, my boy. All right, so we got Goku with the key. All right, good, good. Um, I don't want Gotenks, physical Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3, to get key. Oh, no. <laughs> just as I said it, he gets key. I just didn't want him to get it because, you know, then obviously it's like, well, then he can't get your 11 key super. All right, so I believe how this goes is we face Harutagon without his bottom. Then he gets his bottom, so like his legs or whatever. And then he gets the transformed form. I think that's how it goes. Okay, so it looks like Goku does super... Oh, right! That's because um, all the characters 
from um, the movie, obviously, that this is from Wrath of the Dragon, get a special boost on this stage. I completely forgot about that. So that means that our Z Awakened Goku will be hitting like a truck. <laughs> He'll be hitting disgustingly hard. And my man's has two dupes in him now. Now, that's not to say that Hyrudagon could just dodge it, but I'm not exactly sure when the dodging starts. It could be now. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, we might actually not... Uh, oh, he still did a ton, even with a normal attack. Holy cow. Um, yeah, here we go. The dodging is starting. So, as you can see, he definitely dodges a lot more than Janemba does. Okay, so... Ooh, Super Vegito's actually going to hit here. Nice. Bada bing. Oh, but he's not going to do anything. Obviously, he needs to get that boost. But he could dodge all of our counters. No? He might dodge this one maybe no okay so i don't know if he just can't dodge counters but usually these guys these bosses i mean we're only really going off of janemba here but usually these bosses that can um dodge can dodge counters as well so i don't know maybe we just got really lucky all right so we're gonna hope and pray here that super vegeto doesn't take a super because I'm banking on him countering all these. And that's why I didn't put Gotenks in the front. Okay, well, he dodged that. So, with all these counters that we're about to get here, he should um, dodge one of them if he can dodge counters. I would think so. It wouldn't make sense to me that he couldn't, but... Seems like our boy has gotten wrecked here. I think I just found the winning strategy. But you need counters to win this match. Because he certainly dodges a lot. Ooh, Gotenks got through. Nice. All right, so he won't be supering us anytime soon. I don't think Gohan will kill. Of course, he's... Yep. I just think, you know, obviously, he's just there to be a support unit. Okay. Um. Ooh, this is difficult. <laughs> Who do I keep on rotation? Okay, let's see. Um. You guys seem like you... Ooh, you know what? Maybe we'll keep Gotenks with... Uh, mm, nah, we'll just do this. We'll keep Gotenks on rotation. Put Goku off rotation. And keep our other Goku on rotation. Alright, so obviously he's sealed here. And this won't do much to us since we have the special, um, you know, the special, um, you know, attribute here. Also, did you notice our team has 400,000 health? Oh my gosh! Bro, that was almost a 4 million crit! Jeez! Oh my gosh! I made a video, by the way, about... Um, that Goku, about the Extreme Z Awakening Goku and me going through the process. I just haven't gotten around to editing yet. So, I don't know if I'll still release that video now that we're kind of using him here and he's showing off like a monster. Um, maybe, I don't know. If you guys, leave me your comment in the comment section below if you think I should still send out that video. Because that went through the whole process of actually Z Awakening him, or Extreme Z Awakening him, I should say. You know, and then trying him out. Like, I tried him out at SA1 before the Extreme Z Awakening, and then at SA15 um, after the Extreme Z Awakening. So, ooh! Go takes with the double super! Oh, and he died. <laughs> dude i love this event i love bosses that do this because it just makes it more fun it's just like more enjoyable instead of just like absolutely decimating the boss you know you actually have to put some like thought into your attacks and you know like make sure that you're doing everything right uh oh that's a super attack love this wait there he goes <laughs> I love that animation where the enemy just go well the enemy I guess the enemy to Hyrudagon, which is actually us just kind of comes like flying by the screen oh okay so we can dodge counters interesting so maybe we were just getting that lucky maybe the first stage couldn't dodge counters I'm not really sure all right so we'll do this um no 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 my boy there we go okay Give Goku the AGL key. But yeah, maybe I still will release that Extreme Z Awakening video just because it kind of went through the whole process. And it showed him at SA1 before the Extreme Z Awakening and at SA15 afterward. Of course, now he's a little bit more buffed up because he does have um, another dupe in him. You know, that's what I used my redstone on when it came to JP recently. I want to see this man hit the final stage at least. That's what I'm hoping for. Because he obviously hasn't been able to hit thus far. Just simply for the fact that, you know, he's dodging too much. <laughs> we can't hit him. All right, let's see here. Um, ooh. Let's put Goku in the back. Only because he should be able to tank those attacks pretty decently. Um, ooh, and we can give our man some rainbow key here. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, my boy. 
Alright, so let's hit it up with this. This event is also pretty long. Um, I know obviously we played the first stage there, but still, this event seems like it's pretty long. Alright, so are we gonna... Okay, so now he's gonna start to dodge the counters. Interesting. I wonder why he wasn't dodging them before. Maybe we just got that lucky. I don't know. Go tanks, you wanna... No, okay. It's alright. Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> so literally nothing. That's what happened this turn. A whole lot of nothing. Alright, um... Ooh, this is hard. You know what? I'll throw Super Vegito at the back so that he can counter those. Um, and then we'll have Goku... Um, take these hits in the front because I know that he can obviously take them fine. Um, we'll give Gotenks that and we will give, uh, um, Super Vegito that. Dope. Alright, so we should be able to tank these pretty decently well, like I said, like we've been doing so much so far. I'm really interested to see how much the final stage is going to be doing to Goku. Whoa! Okay, so that, interestingly enough, was pretty much what we did without a crit, um, on the last stage. So that just kind of shows you how much this guy has, like, in a boost of defense from one stage to the next. Interesting. If you guys are wondering, too, about the, like, kind of, like, sparking letters, that's from the Extreme Sea Awakening. That's what happens. Their kind of damage gets that little animation, which is pretty neat. Alright, so now we're facing uh, the boy, Hyrudagon himself, of course, his final form. And there's this energy bar up here. Now, I wanted to take a quick note of this before we continue. That energy bar can be reduced by an item we get in the um, Tapion and Hyrudagon story missions. So what we're going to do is we'll play that, and then we'll get a couple of those items, and then we'll come back to this event and then you know we'll actually use the items on this event um and you know we'll see how they actually work because i'm very interested to see um also i'm gonna heal here only because um i think the gohan will take a lot of damage in the back especially if he supers and gotenks doesn't get the seal off oh we might be getting a dokkan attack that is what I would love to see with the Extreme Z Awakening Goku. Ooh, that would be dope. These animations look so funny, too, when he dodges. And, like, Super Vegito, um, you know, is, like, standing right there for the super attack. And he's just like, nope, not happening. <laughs> Are we going to get it? Oh, dang it. Okay. All right. Watch Gohan get his attack in. Okay, never mind. Not at all. Okay, yeah, good. I oh, yeah, he's going to super here. So, same thing. Gohan's going to go, whoop. <laughs> all right, so we didn't take too much damage. I honestly thought that we were going to take a lot more. All right, will we mm, Will we get the Dokkan attack this turn? Maybe? I'm thinking yes. Yeah, we should definitely get it this turn. Okay. Ooh, my boy, this is going to hurt. Hyrudagon, you about to be hurting, my boy. Woo! All right. Take that damage. Let's go. This will heal us up fine. I want to see how much this does. Let me see if I can... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm so bad at those Dokkan modes sometimes. So keep in mind, he has, um, you know, the whole thing where he's from this movie. So he's going to do extra damage going on. Um, he already hits pretty hard, obviously. And let's see... Ooh, I hope he doesn't dodge it. Oh, wait. Oh, nice. Okay, wait. Was that... Hold up. Hold up. Was that... Oh, he dodged it too. Goku is out here, my boy. Holy cow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That was 2 million damage, right? Not 23 million? I'll have to check after this video. Because if that was 23 million without a crit... My gosh! <laughs> Holy cow, I know you guys are already, like, typing in the comments, Oh my gosh! You know? But I can't see it yet, I obviously can't go back and look at the footage, we have to finish the match! Alright, cool. Counter City is gonna be happening here. Oh, this is awesome, I really like this event! This is awesome! I really like events like this, like I said before, you know, it makes them so much more fun, just because, you know, it adds a level of difficulty, you know, that with other Dokkan events, you're just like, oh, yep, LR Gohan, 10 billion damage, you know, and just like flat out wreck the enemy. But with this, you know, there's strategy to it, you know, there's like 
real like you know you got to be paying attention for this you can't just go on autopilot like i do a lot of the time when i kind of play dokkan um or at least i'm doing something else and playing dokkan just because the game doesn't require me to um necessarily you know require my full attention anyhow interestingly enough the energy meter isn't down all the way yet and if goku gets his super off here i'm pretty sure the harutagon is dead um but okay yeah that's what i figured would happen but i'm wondering if just the energy meter is just like more of his defense or if that will be him transforming back into the last um oh gotenks is gonna get a super off here i think that's the first one this whole time hey that's what i'm talking about all right so we took him out without actually um depleting the energy meter that was awesome wow <laughs> i'm speechless that was really fun i'm very excited about this all right so it's going to be kind of difficult to dokkan awaken your tapions um you know whether you get the tech one or the agl one it's going to be uh it's going to be a little bit difficult but anyway i think that's going to do for this one i hope you guys enjoyed i certainly did this is a lot of fun i really like this event i really like it Anyway, guys, that's going to do for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, go and play this event if you have JP. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, and let me know in the comments, too. I think I will still release it, but let me know if you think I should still release the Extremes Awakening video or if you think after this, Goku's kind of shown his worth. But I thought it was a good comparison between the beginning and the end. And in the future, not in the far future, but in the near future, we'll do this story mode as well, because this is where you get a bunch of cool stuff. But anyway, I will get out of your hair now. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good two out. Peace.